kind of in a rush because we can only run shore power to our outlets or our AC. So we definitely want to switch to our nine volt on the fridge so we can run the AC because it's freaking hot. Hey, welcome to Sailing Desire, a channel dedicated to pursuing passions. I'm Frank and this is Jessica. After getting fed up with corporate America, we decided to exit the rat race and live a life that prioritizes having experiences over having things. So if you're looking for some inspiration to pursue your passions and fulfill your desires, subscribe and follow along. Thanks. What's going on folks? It's another gloriously hot day in Florida. So excuse the fan, but uh, I need it. <laughs> we got the wind mic on, but I'm standing right in front of the fan. We've been hard at work on some boat projects. So I wanna give you guys a little update. And actually some of the projects I'm going to kind of redo. We went through them kind of quickly just to make sure that we get things working. Uh, specifically, I'm talking about the refrigerator. So they got done kind of quickly with some duct tape, but now that we know that they work, we're gonna go through and wire them properly and also show you guys what's going on. So it was supposed to just be a purchase and you know, plug it up and it works. However, we found that it didn't work with our nine volt system. So it does work when we have shore power and we're able to hook up to the 120, but it does not work on our nine volt, which is our solar panels and our battery pack. So we did some troubleshooting. We called Dometic customer support who was very helpful and we tried a couple different things. What ended up working for us was a thicker gauge wire. Uh, the nine volt that's currently in our boat is only 18 gauge. So it's very thin and it's making a very sizable trip from here to our battery bank. Our battery bank is in the engine room which this is our the beginning of the engine room so it's probably six to eight feet behind this wall and then it still has to travel along the wall so for 18 gauge that's really it was not thick enough to carry the amps that this fridge needs so we ended up getting a six gauge wire uh, here this thing's pretty hefty uh, and it's 20 feet long and we just ran a test we ran it directly from a breaker on the electrical panel to the Dometic and sure enough it turned on and the compressor ran that was one of the main issues when we had it plugged up to our 9 volt system the unit would turn on but the compressor would not run anytime the compressor tried to turn on the screen would go black and so we knew that there was some type of issue and it, it it made it's more apparent that the issue wasn't with the system that the issue was possibly our electrical because when we have it plugged up to shore power it worked perfectly and according to Dometic this unit was designed to work on DC. So if it works on AC, then it should definitely work on DC. However, our DC system needed to be upgraded. So again, the problem wasn't with the unit, it was with our system. So we got that test so that, we did that test so we know that it is indeed our wiring. So we will be doing another temporary wiring. This was just a very quick crude test wiring. So next we will, we will be doing a temporary wiring and that'll probably run it 
somewhere out of this wall, kind of keep it low, and then pop it right there so that this will be sitting here. This is also temporary location for this fridge. We actually plan on remodeling the entire galley and this fridge will be located in this space. What's going on people? So it started raining yesterday, typical Florida weather, random rain and thunder, and then it started getting dark. So it's now the next day we're gonna finish hooking the fridge up to the DC power and then we'll be able to really live off grid. So we got some female disconnects from Ace Hardware. check to make sure that this wire was disconnected from our test run so we're ready to install this now took forever like most boat projects all right now we're going in the engine room to finish our wiring i'm just gonna clean it up a little run it kind of behind some wire so especially don't want it touching the engine get this thing wired up <sighs> kind of in a rush because we can only run shore power to our outlets or our AC, so we definitely want to switch to our nine volt on the fridge so we can run the AC because it's freaking hot. Uh, so let's get this cleaned up and get it done. Uh, let's see. Get in here on the engine. <laughs>
This is kind of like yoga. Hot yoga. <laughs> Definitely gonna have to secure this more. But for right now, we're gonna get this wired up so I can turn the air on and then we'll come back and secure it with the air on. I think that'll be a little more comfortable. Cause it's freaking hot. All right, let's wrap this up. I got the connectors on. Let's get in here and get it. wired to where the old refrigerator circuit was so that was convenient I gotta turn this off power AC cord. Take that out of there. This is the DC. There we go. We are officially running on DC. It's absolutely true what they say. Any boat project you estimate how long it's going to take you, it's going to take you three times as long. So I was thinking it can't take more than 20 or 30 minutes for me to wire this up, especially since I already did a test wiring and we were using the same wires from the test. But no, I think it still took me about an hour and a half to do it. So this is what we were waiting for. This little white light shows that our compressor is running. That's the money symbol. We've got our fridge operating properly the compressor is running on DC power so we're gonna go ahead and turn off our shore power and turn on our air conditioning kind of in a rush because we can only do we can only run what's going on folks
Here's a new fridge. Dometic CFX 75 liter. I really do need a sponsorship from Red Bull because I love Red Bull. Really can't get down with coffee. I drink coffee every now and then, but Red Bull is really where it's at. Uh, anyway, 